Red Wall Conservative MPs have accused Boris Johnson of going back on his pledge to level up in the forgotten parts of England, as the Prime Minister faces a series of rebellions this week. Tory MPs were rocked by a five-point drop in the polls last week, putting Labour ahead for the first time since 2017. Many are considering voting against government plans to raise national insurance contributions, NICs, to pay for social care and a proposal to temporarily suspend the triple lock on state pension rises. One MP told the Sunday Express, I feel like I've woken up in a socialist republic. It's Alice in Wonderland stuff. A third rebellion tomorrow could come in a debate over whether to press ahead with the HS2 rail line which critics believe will cost taxpayers as much as £200 billion. To make matters worse, the NICS increase of 1.25% comes alongside another 5% rise in council tax, both to pay for social care. The fury on the backbenches from historically Labour seats won by Conservative MPs has been fueled by new analysis from the Taxpayers' Alliance, TPA, which shows that the Boris tax will hit their constituents hardest. According to the TPA, after the tax rise NICs will account for 6.64% of income in the East Midlands, 6.44% in the West Midlands and 6.43% in the North East. This compares to a UK average of 6.09%, with the South East paying 5.88%. Added to that there are concerns that the temporary ditching of the triple lock for pensions to stop an 8% rise this year will harm red wall areas most. The Northeast and Northwest have among the joint second highest levels of pensioner poverty. Former Cabinet Minister Esther McVeigh, who founded the Blue Collar Movement which swept the Red Wall areas, said, Increasing NICs means that people in the North will disproportionately pay more to give a disproportionate benefit to the South. That is not my idea of leveling up.